What's up, Soul Tribe? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm here to make another video for you guys. Tomorrow is one of the hugest portals, the most important portals for me. 11-11 um, is a huge deal for me. It's one of the biggest portals for manifestation, and it just so happens that we are lucky enough at this time that it's falling one day before the full moon in Taurus. So that's a huge deal. This is hyper manifestation time, you guys. If there's any time for you guys to make a vision board or really, really super set your intentions, write some petitions, do any type of magic that you wish to manifest things and release things from your life, now is the time to do it between tomorrow and Tuesday. And then you, we all know that the residual energy for the full moon will continue on for three days after uh the 12th so up until the what 15th 16th so you guys are good if you cannot do um any type of rituals or whatever it is uh manifestation and setting your intentions right and petitions whatever it is that you choose to do to open up yourself to receptivity from the universe from the universe with your intentions so um i definitely came on here to give you guys a collective reading today on the subject but first i definitely want to tell you guys that uh express how important 1111 is to me i see this master number every single day on the clock my badge number um it's even been on like plane tickets when i go out of town the time that i land um Man, it's like if I if I order something from Grubhub or something, and that'll be the time my food is arriving. It's just crazy. Um, so yeah, it's really important to me, and eleven is important in my life for so many reasons. I'm an Aquarius. Uh, we rule the eleventh house. Um, in numerology, that is my one of my main numbers. So I am, you know, as 11 being a master number, I am meant to come on this earth and be a healer and a teacher. And people gravitate towards me for this type of guidance and always have from a very, very young age. People have considered me an old soul or somebody that's very wise or somebody that just gives great advice. Um, most of us know it, the ones that give the greatest advice have the hardest time following their own advice. But eventually we, we find our way. So I definitely want to set great intentions for the collective when it comes down to whatever messages spirit, spirit chooses to convey through me today um, for this 1111 portal. Oh yeah. In addition to that, um, it being a master number, it being... Um, why I, I don't know why my desires number just keeps coming up because it's not my desires number but the very first number in our numerology chart the most important of all that is 11 for me i cannot remember what the name of that is damn i should have looked that up before i got on here but um that's the number that's associated most prominently with me is 11 and and in addition to me ruling the 11th house and you know my main number being 11 also, um, I was born at 11.55 p.m., so just literally five minutes before the 15th. So I'm very blessed to be born on Valentine's Day, but literally by the skin of my teeth, because in five minutes I would have been born on February 15th. So, okay, guys, let's get off into this reading for the lucky portal. Like I said, I don't know if I said that because this is the second time I had to make this video, but yes, now is the best time for you guys to make a vision board. Normally, I make a vision board on November the 11th every year. So um, this is probably about the third year that I've done this. So hopefully you guys can join in and actually go out and get a couple of supplies. If you got kids, get them some too. And the best time to make you guys some vision boards to be tomorrow. And then the very next day, throw those crystals out in that moon. Set your intentions. Light your white candle. Meditate um, on the universe on what it is that you put out in the portal the day before, which would be tomorrow for us technically right now. And um, really, really, really just double down on those intentions so that you can hyper manifest. Wow, there's so much coming out here, you guys. 
A lot of you guys will be using magic to manifest what it, what it is that you want. A lot of you guys will become be becoming unstuck in this season. Or you will be manifesting, becoming unstuck, maybe releasing negative mindsets or negative thoughts ruminating in your mind over and over. It could be past things or just releasing yourself from situations that you feel bound to, but it's self-inflicted. Like you have the right to leave. You have everything that you need to leave. And you may not be as confident to leave a situation. So a lot of you can be in codependent situations where maybe you're dependent on a person um, emotionally or financially. But it's time for you to re-earn your independence here with the Knight of Pentacles. And maybe that's something that you've really been daydreaming about and just like wishing on the star. Like, you know what? I wish I didn't have these type of convictions. I wish I didn't feel so tied and bound to something that I no longer resonate with. Okay, spirit. Yes. Oh, yes. And you have somebody coming in now. Just beware that this person may not be in there for the long haul. You will consider this person sexy um, the sex will be great, but hey, this person may not be sticking around for um, a long-term commitment. But this could also be this could also be you. But it's looking like you guys will be focused on your money, and I know I will. So are y'all gonna be in the Queen of Pentacles energy as well, healing your heart, exercising all of your thoughts, beliefs, uh. And the way you move in everyday life from your heart chakra. So even though you may not be specifically ready for a romance yourself, but it does look like you will be very compassionate towards others as well as focusing on your own personal growth, um, spiritual growth. Like I said, uh, op reopening your heart to love, you know, but for right now you blocked off to it. You're not taking any action towards anything passion related you know maybe you've been cutting off people that um maybe you've been cutting off this kind of energy maybe it's been coming towards you but yeah nine of cups i feel like the things that have been coming towards you or maybe even just your one your one specific partner has been emotionally unsatisfying to you so you know that's why you're trying to manifest something better for yourself you're trying to manifest your autonomy you're trying to manifest um your independence at this time and getting away from drama you just tired you tired of situations in which you have to argue in you tired of having to be stuck in the past because people always putting you in situations where you can't exert your love you want to walk away from that type of feelings that six of cups in reverse type of feeling where you always thinking about the negative things that happened in the past six is prominent here guys so, you know, this stuff could be manifesting for you within the next week or, you know, six weeks or whatever. Or maybe things will be going full circle and you'll be able to open up your heart and re-release, you know, release some of the negative qualms that you feel towards love by no later than June, you know, is what I see. <sighs> So yes, this is the collective message. I'm gonna pull three, um, three different spreads because I really want to make sure that all possibilities are covered when it comes to the collective of this 1111 portal and the full moon in Taurus this week. What is gonna manifest for the collective spirit? One more card, and we're gonna start clarifying. Okay. Ooh, two of cups is crowning the reading, guys. But, oh gosh, is this, are you leaving one and going towards another? Maybe you're constantly attracting this uh, king of wands energy in reverse. And everybody knows that's big daddy. That's a daddy zingling. That's the one that's not really trying to be committed. He just too busy having fun, getting all of the female attention that he could possibly get. Maybe you walking away from that type of thing. Like maybe you tired of entertaining the drama with the Mr. Drama King, Mr. King dingling, and you ready to go towards um, somebody that's going to hold you down emotionally, somebody that's grounded, somebody that's in touch with their emotions with the full moon here. He has a full cup 
of love and instead in traditional decks where the king of cups basically has one toe in the water he has his one of his legs damn emerged uh to the calf in water so this king doesn't mind being emotional you just you tired of that so maybe you're seeking this or maybe it's a possibility that you've already found this and maybe that's what you're walking away and heading towards because we do have you here as the queen of cups so you truly do have a lot of love to give and fellas if the energies are reversed and you are the king of cups that just found your queen of cups and y'all here just exchanging cups like, hey, we both got cups. What's good, baby? You know, if, if it's like that, switch the roles, you know? So I definitely want to check out what is this nine of pentacles because you either could be single or you could be daydreaming about being single and, you know, being able to focus on your money. And then here you here out of nowhere comes... Mr. Lover Lover, you know, why, um, matching all of your emotions, despair, yeah, you're trying to get your money up, boo, that's what it is, you know, you're trying to manifest coming out of that and coming into your abundance, and the Nine of Pentacles is like that Empress energy, but it's before, like that before marriage, because the Empress is typically pregnant and married, somebody's wife or entrepreneur, a mother of children, that nine of pentacles is that same energy of abundance, but without the husband and kids. Why is this knight of wands energy here for the collective when it comes to 1111? Wow, yeah, somebody coming in offering you something, but just beware. Beware of these non-committal energies because you got a couple of them on the board here. And you do got one that stands out as somebody that has potential. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Maybe you coming into some money or you just focusing on work. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the collective? Was this? Oh, message of concern, but it's in reverse. So maybe your biggest concern right now, like I said, is your growth and finances. Maybe you not pouring all of your concern into everybody else's problems because that's the Queen of Cups. That's definitely signifying that you could have spiritual gifts. You could be an empath. You could be a healer. You know, um, you wear your emotions on your sleeve and you evolve your, you involve you involve yourself in other people's issues, you know, and like I said, you know, like this could be your work too, because the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups is almost like you taking a step away from that for a while so that you can put more emphasis on your personal growth, your finances. So why is the Six of Cups here? What are you walking away from? You walking away from you walking away from going down the wrong path. So maybe you made a U-turn in the sense where you just feel like something is over. This is also a 10 card here, which definitely signifies completion, definitely signifies the end of a cycle, the end of an error. Why is the Queen of Cups here for the collective 1111 and the full moon in Taurus? Ooh, unexpected income. Okay. So even though, you know, you have to set everybody else's things to the side for your own good at this time, it's going to pay off in big ways, guys. Great fortune. Wow. Unexpected income, great fortune. So I don't know if you just, if your career, like maybe you started a business or something here and at first it wasn't getting off the ground. Um, you know, and now it's like all of a sudden you reapproach the situation from a different angle and now you got unexpected income coming in and great fortune. So why is the eight of wands in reverse here for the collective for the 1111 portal and the full moon and Taurus spirit? I'm going to pull up two more spreads. Wow, thief. Okay, you blocking everybody that you feel like. And not wow, energetic thief. You blocking off all the energetic thieves, all the emotional thieves, the people that aren't willing to be consistent, the people that aren't willing to give and take with you, you know? 
Nine of Cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. I don't know if you're resisting a transformation or resisting a death with these situations that aren't emotionally fulfilling to you. But hey, you already know the tower will come out if, if spirit has to intervene. Why is the, or this could be the person, the person that's not emotionally fulfilling you is trying to like delay an ending or tell, you know, try to tell you, you know, it's no need to end this. Let's work it out. Why is the five of wands here in reverse? First of all, you tired of fighting for it. Mature woman. So, mm, I don't know if you having some type of conflict and drama with, a, with, um, with a older woman that you work with or an older woman that the person that you dealing with is working with um let's get one more for the five of wands and reverse the older woman and toil and labor and reverse spirit why is this combination here mm, expectations in reverse yeah okay you know like i said and this came up before like somebody mother is definitely intervening if it's not um a mother per se then it's definitely like an older woman whether that's a big sister a older woman like i said at work because toil and labor but it's in reverse but it's definitely can, somebody can be advising you or the person that you're dealing with not to put as much effort into something because either you are complaining to this person that the situation is not meeting your expectations or the person that you're dealing with is complaining about to this person about you that you are not meeting their expectations is what I'm getting from this situation. When it comes down to the mature woman, the expectations in reverse, 12 labor in reverse, and the five of wands, this person definitely is advising this person not to fight for you. All right, so why is the Six of Cups in reverse? I really feel like this King of Wands energy is trying to take the counsel of this mature woman, but at the same time, they kind of keep looking back. I don't know. I don't know if they focus on negative things that happened in the past or if they focus on positive things, and that's what's keeping them from moving forward, but let's see. Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse when it comes to the collective for the 1111 of Porto? And the full moon in Taurus that is on 11-12. Shoot. Okay, so six of cups in reverse. Why is the six of cups in reverse here for the collective spirit? There we go. Privileged lady. Mm, okay, let me get one more. Six of cups. Mature man. So now we have the mature lady and a mature man. You know, I definitely feel like something that's holding one of these people back and it may be the feminine energy is how much she was spoiled throughout this relationship or how much she was spoiled at the beginning by this person. So she keeps looking back, looking back to that that stage of it you know when things have truly changed and it's looking like it's looking like uh, you're not gonna get your blessings with this particular person it's looking like on the other side of this like when you make this you turn away from this situation that was stagnating you that's when you're gonna see the unexpected income that's when you're going to see the great fortune why is the king of wands here oops oh the community wow <laughs> the community in the family room yeah this person was letting all uh, let his family all up in the business and honestly the family looking like they don't like you so whoever this is this is a message though the king of wands in reverse the community in the family room let me get one more clarifier for that spirit one more why is the king of wands, the family room, and the community here? This definitely don't, like when he go visit his family, it's negative talk about you. I think they even telling him, telling the person that you're dealing with, or this is you and this is what your family is telling you, that you too young to settle down. Like you don't have to be committed to this person. Just move on, find somebody new. 
Okay, why is the king of wands in reverse? And this is going to end to somebody moving on, finding their autonomy, and becoming very successful. So I guess they advise this person well, or, you know, even if it's you that got left by this person because they family and friends got involved and they allowed it, you are going to come into your fortune from this. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so either this person has a, a child on the outside that you don't know about, or this is their family just saying, like, don't start a new beginning with this person. Don't start a family with this person. Um, why is the King of Cups here? And then we're going to move on to spread two for the collective. All right, the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? For the collective for the 11th and the 12th of november why is the king of cups here who is the king of cups in this situation when it comes to the collective wow occupation tradition official person so yes your official person is coming this card i always look at is like the person that you're gonna spend your life with because it's a 20 22 car you know maybe you meet this person at work you know or let's see one more card for the king of cups maybe you meet this person at work or yeah i feel like you could possibly meet this person at work wow this person is very generous to you i feel like generous when it comes to their time um generous maybe they even buy you things and take you places you know, you could be expressing to them how unfairly things may have happened for you in the past. And this person offers you a lot of comfort and um, a lot of comfort and a lot of support. And they just like bring you up. So that's what you could be, you know, manifesting into your life as well as great fortune, unexpected income. You know, um, you are definitely releasing a lot of toxic people, people that's here to just steal your energy and leave you in despair. So it's looking good for group one. Let's move on to group two, okay? Let's move on to group two. Wait, let's get some Oracle advice for group one right quick. Okay, so let's get some Oracle advice for group one collective when it comes to the 1111 portal as well as the 1111 portal as well as the full moon in Taurus, which is 1112. So for the next two days, 1111 and 1112 for the collective. Can I receive some Oracle advice at this time, Spirit? I'm going to take three cards. Unless more wants to come out. Yeah, here's one. Soulmates. I knew this was going to come out. I saw it when I was shuffling. Breeze. Okay, so maybe at this time you're experiencing a lot of anxiety. You know, maybe you feel just suffocated by all the things that's happening and you don't see the soulmate coming in for you. But this person is coming in for you. They really going to have the key to your heart. You are really going to feel almost instantly comfortable with this person. And I feel like when they do come and sit see your life, you will be able to breathe. You will be able to think more clearly because this person will not stretch you, stress you out. More than three came out. You will have your mind made up upon me and this person with the fork in a row here in reverse. You will not be thinking about going back to your past or nothing else because this person makes you happy, but this came out first. So let me just put, I just wanted to skip straight to the happy, happy car, but chop wood. As you see the broom right there, it's time to clean up your life. So forget about thinking about the past. Forget about thinking about anybody new. Think about the fact that this is a soulmate that's going to make you happy. B, okay okay so this is the eight card or 26 reduced down to an eight which you know is prosperity and this here is a 41 card that's five change um travel everything great you know just so it's looking like everything is good 
You're leaving behind conflict and chaos for real, okay? So let's move on to group two. And I'm trying to figure out if I should switch decks, and I think I should. All right, so for group two, we're going to use the Sacred Feminine deck here. I introduced this yesterday when I did singles. I did. I use this for air signs, I think. All right, for spirit for group two, when it comes down to the 11, 11 portal, can I receive collective messages for the 11, 11 portal as well as the full moon in Taurus? What newness will people be manifesting in their life with these two lucky portals back to back? You got to put in that work though, y'all. Don't let this portal, don't let this opportunity pass y'all by without like setting y'all intentions. Ooh, how many cards fell? Wow, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so it looks like you guys are going to be lift off your feet with a new opportunity. It could definitely have to do with something that you went to school with. I see the owl in this picture here. So maybe... You guys have just recently either graduated college or you have been really looking for something in your field education-wise and you found something that's going to really, um, that's going to really, really pay off. Now, I can't help but to see that this girl has a basket full of eggs. So, it does look like... You did put all your eggs in one basket when it came down to one field, but it paid off because you really, really, really want to work in a field that you're passionate about. And finally, I feel like you are flying high and honestly getting paid what it is that you want. If not, this will be coming up for you. Okay, so here's the chariot in reverse. So maybe you, one part that you wanted was to be traveling it may be a little bit of delay when it comes to traveling or you may be experiencing some car problems. So we have the queen of pentacles in reverse. So you definitely gonna have to watch how you spend your money. And maybe it's that transition of just finding this job. So, you know, it's time to like, this job is new. Don't look at it as, you know, I've got this new job in my career after graduating and now it's time for me to just spend up. You gonna have to be wise. This is the high priestess. Use your intuition. Get creative, not only with your, you know, your career, but get creative with your spending. You know, and try not to overspend. Being too excited. Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow, you guys are closed off. I definitely feel like to love or at least to sex. I don't know, but I'm definitely getting celibacy at this time because it's looking like she damn near chopped dude cojones off. So, um, you know, shit, either you dealing with somebody that's this harsh or you just really not trying to give it up right now. And maybe you expressing that in the most harsh way to these guys right now. You could be coming off as closed off. You could be coming off as very quiet and reserved because the high priestess is very quiet. Somebody that keeps secrets, but somebody that's also very knowledgeable and you know i definitely feel like this is knowledge for you and maybe you just kind of being more on the introverted side and using your intuition especially when it comes down to who you involve yourself with on a physical level i see you not playing no games so we have the knight of cups here in reverse once again you just not in the mood for love i feel Two of Cups, though. Somebody in the mood for love with you. Or maybe um, you got your mind focused on one person. And you got a, a whole lot of other suitors approaching you. Because with the Two of Cups here, but everything else just in reverse. Like, page of swords. So maybe somebody going to come forth and declare love to you. Then we got the Five of Pentacles and X. <coughs> five of Pentacles in reverse. Hold on, y'all. Five of Pentacles in reverse is crowning the reading. So it's somebody that, whoa, somebody that made a confession because it's the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse made a decision to be honest and come forth hoping that this is going to get them out of the cold with you. Whoa, okay. All right, so let's oh, get some clarifiers. I'm using the Gilded Reverie Lenormand. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for a group? Number two, collective 
for the 1111 portal and the 1112 full moon in Taurus. Wow. Wow, something became clear about somebody that you was dealing with in the past for sure. I don't know if you found out something over social media or this person personally told you. Whatever it was made you lose a sense of hope for the situation. Or it definitely turned around how you felt about how how you felt about the situation. And maybe, ooh, maybe that's what you put all your eggs in one basket with this person. So it really disappointed you when you found out some kind of unexpected news about them. Why is the chariot here in reverse? That could definitely be, you know, you you guys slowing down or even stopping the movement forward with this person. Why is the chariot in reverse here? Wow. Time. Yeah, you really wasn't seeing things for what it was, but over time, you saw that this wasn't going in the direction that you wanted it to. So why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah. Somebody want to bridge the gap with you. One more. Why is the Queen of Pentacles and the bridge in reverse here? Why is the bridge and the queen of pentacles here, spirit? One more. Let me get the shuffle. Okay. Why is the queen of pentacles? Yeah, somebody want to bridge the gap and make peace with you. I do feel like it's this meal that you left behind that you lost faith in. That's like, that this person is no longer wish fulfillment for you. Yeah, you feel like things, your luck went bad with that situation. Y'all might have even had a home together and a lot of stability together. Why is the two of cups here? Maybe this person realizes after a separation or time apart from you that you are really their soulmate. But it's looking like you rejecting it. And it's kind of crazy because he coming back with angel wings. So maybe this person is going to come back professing their love, saying that they changed and you just not buying it, you know? You're just not buying it. Let's see. Yeah, this person ready to come back in and lock this situation back down. Can I get more for the two of cups and the cage? Yeah, this person seen you blossom over time. I don't know how long ago the separation took place. Or this person is saying that they blossomed. The 33 is here. This person wants to collab with you again, you know? Why is the... Ooh... Okay, yeah. It looks like you're going to turn down that new beginning. You know, y'all could have broken up because this person had a child on the outside. I'm getting a lot of that energy lately. A lot of that energy lately. Okay, why is the high priestess here? Okay. Okay, why is the high priestess here when it comes down to group two collective? Yeah, oh yeah. You know what? You are really working on your health, your wealth. You feel like this person tried to keep you in confusion. You know, you want a family like you, you done with that partying aspect and you feel like you and this person don't see eye to eye. They like, they more with celebration and you are more about um, you know, building up your prosperity, building your family, you know, having a healthy family. Okay, so why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? Maybe you harshly convey this, like, you know what? Compatibility wise, I don't feel like we a good fit anymore. Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? For group two collective for the 11, 11, and 11, 12. Porto and full moon and Taurus. Mm. Yes, this person is tired of feeling grief. Tired of feeling the grief and destruction of this relationship. Taking a toll on them. Taking a toll on their psyche. Taking a toll on the way 
their energy period because i do feel like this person doesn't normally um have this type of demeanor but it's like self-preservation somebody could be watching the other wow okay yeah but <laughs> wow this male that's coming back definitely wants to see growth out of this situation and i feel like that's what they're going to be coming forth to actually tell you or you could be the person that's coming back to tell somebody that you you know you want to reveal all the dirty little secrets that kept y'all held back hoping to clear the air with that and start fresh why is the page of swords here the person that's trying to come back definitely could be watching because there's a sense of seeing how this person has kind of blossomed since the separation. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're watching you from a fake page for sure. Another page of sorts. I definitely feel like communicating with friends about the situation as well. One more for the page of sorts. Why is the page of sorts here? I just saw binoculars. Oh my God. This person, if they stay anywhere near you, they literally can be sitting outside of your crib with some binoculars. That's crazy. I'm trying to see if there's any binoculars on this table because I'm trying to figure out why the hell that just popped in my mind. Okay, one more. Page of Swords with the mask. Mm. Yeah, they want you to unblock them. They do want to come towards you. <sighs> they trying to operate with more direction instead of so impulsively. They trying to find a destiny. They trying to find their way back to you. Because they unhappy without you with the sun card here. So you got a case of the ex situation. And I would definitely advise you to be careful because. Because. <laughs> Because it's Mercury retrograde. But other than that, it's looking like your money is going to be looking good. You will be getting suitors coming in. If you having car problems, those should straighten out soon after. Make sure you're not overspending. You know, stay celibate if you want to. Yeah, but your intuition is going to be coming into full effect as well. Group two. So, all right. What am I going to use for... Oh, wait. Let's get some... Oracle. Let's get some Oracle advice for group two when it comes down to the 1111 portal as well as the full moon and Taurus. Okay, let's get some Oracle advice for group two, the collective. Oh, blessed. Oh, why don't you feel blessed? I'm definitely getting gratitude. You need to exert more gratitude, you guys. Like, even if your ex is coming back, don't look at that as not, that look at that as an opportunity to clean things up. To tell this person exactly how it is for you, how you feel, and what you plan on doing moving forward, which more than likely can be either cleaning up your situation or clearing this person completely out of your life. The choice is definitely yours, but... Don't look at it, at it as like you not being blessed with new love. Sometimes we have to clear out old energy for sure before we do that. No place like home and tick tock. In due time, things will change. You will definitely find your center ground, your zen, um, the person that makes you feel like you're at home with them. So don't feel like that. It's time to go. And it is. Run, baby, run. This is a 43 card, is, which is reduced down to a 7. And what else you got here? 4s. You got lots of 4s. So if you haven't been feeling ex extremely, um, if you haven't been feeling much luck coming your way, just know that it will be. You know, things will change, but you have to stay positive and optimistic at this time, okay? So definitely start setting y'all intentions tonight, even if y'all up at 12 o'clock, start setting y'all intentions right away at, you know, as early as possible. So we're going to do a, a group three collective, and then I'm going to call it a day, y'all. 
is three is a magical number for me and i feel like if i can't if i i can't reach every single person but at least you know telling three people the solution to you know and we are coming up on that uh shadow energy because i think oh wow <laughs> you surrounded by pettiness resident asshole or maybe this is you at the time group three but yeah um Yeah, somebody I feel like is in this energy because they seeking victory in a situation. Wow. Oh, wow. Cars is flying. Yeah, you are. <laughs> wow. Okay. So somebody is making a move that they feel might be selfish. <sighs> Manifesting something. Wow. I don't know. I definitely need to clarify because here we are back to the traditional um, where somebody is giving to two people. But maybe what it is that you're moving towards, you feel like it's selfish because you got to break somebody's heart to get to it. So, <laughs> And it's looking like a grand gesture too. A new beginning, okay? A brand new, stable beginning elsewhere. It's looking like, because it's looking like you're moving fast to get to it with the chariot here and this is something that you feel like will be fair and balanced for yourself but unfair to somebody else so i don't know if you're traveling for work and maybe you have to leave behind a relationship or a family to do this but we'll definitely get to the bottom of it okay can i get more messages for group three for the collective 11 11 and um 11 12 for the full moon in Taurus. Okay. Wow, yes, you definitely moving towards your happiness. And I do feel like you took the time to actually think about this and process this before you made this move. It definitely wasn't impulsive. It definitely was planned. And that may be why it's coming up as kind of one-upmanship because maybe you had time to process the ending. <laughs> wow. Yes. You could be going back towards the next yourself that you feel like you still have love for. Yeah, here's that selfish energy. Uh, oop, here's that selfish energy again with the King of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, and the Magician. So somebody was definitely being a lying little cheaty sneak, you know. But I mean, hey, if this was you, this was you. If not, this could be happening to you. But somebody is being rejected, okay? And it could be a star energy. It could be an Aquarius. Or it could just be somebody that's in the public eye, period. So let's definitely pull some clarifiers because I would like to know why is the Five of Swords here for Group 3 Collective for 1111 and 1112 Full Moon and Taurus. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the five of swords here? Oh, thief, message of concern. So you know what? I damn near feel like you're going to ghost somebody with nothing but a letter. I do feel like that. Why is the chariot here? I'm getting that imprisonment in reverse. Somebody set themselves free from a situation they felt trapped in. I do feel like that's probably what the person gonna feel like is being stolen. Maybe they share assets and by this person ghosting with the car, who knows? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here for the collective group three for 11-11 and 11-12 portals? Whoop. Ah, uh, the mature male, okay, and the wealthy male. Okay, so somebody definitely was giving out money. Giving out money for their own gain. I don't know, buying, buying attention. I definitely feel like whoever this person is dealing with on the outside 
have the impression that they are they coming off more wealthy than what they really are you know and maybe this is why this person is leaving behind somebody because it's getting difficult yeah it's getting difficult to maintain two households and this person ain't even thinking about the person's heart that they gotta break why is the three of swords here they're not even giving it a second thought to separate from this person that they're either married to or committed to something that they've worked hard on why is the six of cups here so one of you guys could be manifesting a new beginning wow the house <sighs> yeah okay so this person could be trying to manifest you or your person the person that you're dealing with right now that you're thinking about while you listening to this could be trying to manifest a new beginning with their ex were they even dreaming of having a house and kids okay a house and kids restore love you know they could be doing this with an aquarius that could be why that star card was there under the under the rest of that why is the ace of pentacles here why is the ace of pentacles here sudden wealth wow that's crazy so this person is leaving in the name of i don't know i guess love and wealth why is the Ten of Cups here? This person definitely is considering this past person with the Ten of Cups, with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And the Ace of, Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Love and money. Love and fortune. Okay, why is the Ten of Cups here for the collective group number three? Why is the Ten of Cups here for the collective group number three? For the portals of 11, 11, and 11, 12. This person manifests a happiness for themselves, the love, happiness, and prosperity. Whether this be you or the person that's, that you're dealing with. If you got a feeling that somebody that you're dealing with is like, mind is elsewhere, you could be right. Wow, change and reverse. So maybe this is what this person is hoping for and it ain't. Maybe it's not going to play out like they wanted to. Why is the Ten of Cups here? That's crazy. That would be crazy if this backfire because it, it does look kind of shady a little bit. I mean, I encourage people to be happy, courtship, and journey. Wow, this person thinks they're on the right journey and they are not. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse? The Lovers in reverse. Oh, gosh. So this person has thought, meditated, and really contemplated leaving their lover. And that's what they did. Why is the Ten of Swords here? That's what they did. And now it's looking like they could be going in the wrong direction. It's looking like this shit may not go anywhere because we have both travel cards in reverse outside of the chariot. So I do feel like this person that has manifested some kind of new beginning with somebody they consider a soulmate from the past or like a past life love or something. Somebody that they court in outside of their marriage or their serious relationship. It's not going to go as planned. Something this person is thinking that this person is their soulmate and it's not. Lovers is in reverse. Journey is in reverse. Official person is in reverse. Distant horizon is in reverse. Change is in reverse. Hmm. Well, okay. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Honestly, I feel like a betrayal back uh, fire. The community came out. Wow. Main female. Courthouse in reverse. Community in reverse. Whoever is leaving this situation, occupation. Okay, so I do feel like this wealthy male has met somebody at either at work or while they were traveling away on trip. You know what I'm saying? On uh traveling on um business. And they felt like it was going to work out. Maybe something happened to where this person couldn't relocate to get closer to that person. Or once they got there, nothing came of it. Five of Wands. So, hey, 
child. Five of Wands in reverse, child. Let me get one more. Maybe somebody no longer fighting for a new beginning. Maybe there's a child involved at this time because this child definitely in the upright. So why is the Five of Wands here for group three? Why is the child and the Five of Wands here in reverse for group three? The collective 11, 11, and 11, 12. Three, two, one. Gift in reverse. Wow. Somebody not happy about a child. I feel like they fear is going to take their money. They don't want to be poor. But they not they not happy about it. They not viewing this in a happy way. Yeah, they feel like it's going to take away from their fortune cuz this person is coming into you know, slit and wealth. So this could be the person that they trying to leave behind that's telling them, now I'm pregnant, you know? And they like, damn, I was just about to leave you. Or maybe they already left and this person sends this message of concern because that was there. So you guys, you could be trying to manifest yourself out of the situation and start a new one, but you may have a couple of hiccups that's going to have you unable to leave. And it could be, you know, you plan on relocating to go towards this happiness and this new opportunity. And somebody suddenly calls you to let you know, hey, you can't just leave. Not so quick. We have a baby on the way. And you like, the f what the f <laughs> you like going the hell off because you like, I was this close to starting a new beginning. Don't, don't be a Chris Watts though, okay? Oh, it's never that deep, man. Just leave in co-parents, okay? So I hope you guys like that 1111 and full moon and Taurus reading. And I wish you guys the very best when it comes down to this happy manifestation time. So get it in, manifest everything that you can, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Ciao.